and three, two, one, boom. And we are back with another episode of Crack Gamers. This is a movie review. Uh, we actually checked out uh, Spider Man. Yeah. Hold on, just give us give us a second. <laughs> as, we, as we set this up, a little te- technical difficulty. All right, here we go. And we are back. A little technical difficulty on that start. It's all good. You hit uh, the button wrong. <laughs> hit the button wrong. So uh, we checked out Spider Man. Mm. Um, just came out. Yeah. And uh, like all of our movie reviews, we're going to score it, talk about it, score it again to see if we swayed each other's opinion to um, either go higher or lower. But I'm going to go right off the bat and say this was amazing. Yeah, that's good. All right, so what was your score, Mish? Uh, I had about like uh, 8.5. I oh, think. wow, that's pretty good for you. I was like 8, 8.5, I'm thinking. Yeah. Uh, I will give this... Ooh. At first? At first? What do you mean? Uh, I'll tell you later. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with 8.5 as well. <laughs> okay. That's, that seemed like a good score. I was like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah, it's not a 10 for me, but it was definitely up there. It was really good. 8.5. Yeah. Maybe 9. We'll see at the end. Mm. But anyway, so what'd you like about the movie? Uh, so, uh, super caveat, these are huge spoilers. Oh, yeah, right. right. Always, so always, always, always. Uh, I liked how it started. I was like, oh, okay. And what then the comedy? Oh, uh, no, like just the way Mysterio was the first thing that they showed, then... Oh yeah, your brother said that that was like um, that was the ending scene. That was like the spoiler scene for the re-release. Uh, not spoiler scene. It was like the. Um, oh, like, like the end credit scene. Yeah, yeah, for the re-release. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. So they yeah. had to. That's why they added it in here. Yeah, I didn't really. I thought I felt when he said that, I was like, oh, that makes sense because it felt like a little off. I was like, oh, that's like a random way to start the movie. Uh. It did, but I felt like it was kind of cool too because then the, when the music went on, it was like totally different from the. True. So oh, like yeah, it kind of worked true. out. True, that's true. Yeah, and then it was like a Tony Stark and no, it wasn't just Tony Stark. It was like everyone who died montage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that was, true. Yeah, that was that was actually pretty cool. <laughs> that was yeah. pretty funny. I was like, uh, when they got into that. The other thing though, they were saying, what did they? Uh, so, then that video was uh, part of the school's news bulletin thing. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, it kind of they went by kind of quick. So like when when the kids that came back, they were five years they were, older. They were five years older. Yeah, the ones that came back. Yes. Or the ones that were there. I guess the I got confused that, in that one. The people that came back. True. Actually, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Was I it the people look... that came back, or was it the people that? No, it must have been the people that came back. So then, wouldn't or or was did MJ did she disappear? No. That, that's what I'm wondering because. Peter Parker was the one who left. So shouldn't he be five, five years, years older? older? That's true. I don't know. So I wasn't sure which one, which way that went. Like or maybe, the, oh yeah, true. Okay, okay. I good, good call. Actually, one. I don't even know either. Maybe MJ did disappear too. Yeah, because yeah, they're all in the, still in the same thing grade, right? Like, the kid that grew was not. I don't know. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That was a bit confusing. You're right. I'll give you that one. Like I, just, again, I needed to see it again to, to know what, what was exactly said. You know what this movie reminded me of? It reminded me of uh, Iron Man 3, where, um, what's his name? The man- Mandarin? Yes, 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 yes. Right? Yes, yes. And like, that, that, like, that reminded me of that, yes. And, and you thought it was like this crazy, insane person thing, and then it turned out to be an illusion. Right. You know, I really liked Iron Man three for that. It was like they were using media to um, to like confuse, uh, not confuse, to like portray a stronger villain than there actually was. Mm-hmm. And then when Iron Man actually found him, it was like, oh, you're actually a fraud. You're like um, an actor. Yeah. You know, and it was just like this one. It was like it was similar, but more like similar, but it was a bit like these characters made like they. Made sense why they were doing what they but were doing. But it was so funny because I was like, why is this Mysterio guy so corny right now? He's like being Parker's friend so hard. And yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh, that's kind of weird. Like, why are they going to be like best buddies? And then when it turned out it was an illusion, I was like, oh, that makes sense as to why they're best buddies. Yeah. Like, he was like hamming it up. Right, right, right. Yeah. But I did not I, expect that. I was like, yeah, I thought I he was a good guy. So, so that's another thing. I, so I liked the, uh, that. Uh, some the things I did not expect. So I didn't expect that switch 
But I was like wondering what would happen now that they already killed this lava thing. I was like, what, now what? Where yeah, was, me too. Me too. Was I was like, that's kind of so, fast. But the only thing I would think of was like, they're gonna Mysterio come back. has got to be bad or something like. Like, oh, okay, I was okay. thinking like, are they making Mysterio bad? Like, was something else going on? Oh, I, I thought that too. Like when he gave him, I thought it was gonna be like when he gave him the glasses, it was gonna corrupt him mentally, and he was gonna be like, yeah, that's what I thought. By that, the that's glasses. what I thought. Yeah, that, he, that you know? uh, too much power kind of thing. But then it turned. Yeah, but exactly. It was like, and it was like, oh no, that was his plan the whole time. It was, it was like, oh, yeah. that was a yeah. good bait and switch. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I never expected that. I was like, mm. oh, that was cool. Mm. So that one, uh, that was a really cool uh, twist right there that I liked. Um, uh, so the other thing, so yeah, the humor was good. You know, I mean, kind of neat. Yeah, it was very funny. I liked it. Uh, I like. I really liked the love story between Peter Parker and MJ. You felt it was real. Right. You know what I mean? Like these two like awkward kids. But her her uh, quips were really good. Oh yeah! Totally! 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 Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, but that's what I'm saying. Like these characters were written so well. Even him, like, oh yeah, I laughed so hard when he, she's like, take off your clothes right now, for, like to change like into the suit. Yeah. And then the dude walked in. I was like, wow, this looks really bad. <laughs> like you felt it. It was like, oh, that is suggestive, bro. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, those are the adult humors, you know. For sure, for sure. <laughs> Kids probably didn't get that. They're like, ah, he got caught with his pants down. I was like, no, no. That's not what they were going for. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah, I really like that. That was cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like, so the, the uh, questions that came in were that, that Peter had to deal with, which it was very interesting because the Avengers are gone. Right. Who becomes the next Avengers? Right, right, right. That was pretty cool, yeah. And that aspect that he wasn't sure if he was, he's not ready. He thought he wasn't, he's not ready to. Being a, to be being this kind of thing, I'm just still a kid, right? Right. So I like that was uh, kind of portrayed in there because it's gonna be hard to find someone to exactly right. fit all yeah, these for roles. Sure, for sure. He's Agreed. still a young kid, right? Right. Uh, but that's what Mysterio used in his uh, manipulation. Manipulation. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's true. But yeah. in that manipulation, that's where the shift for. Peter happens too, right? Like he realized. Right, he had to accept his destiny. Yeah, I really liked how they used drones for that because it was very believable. It was like a, it was just like the Mandarin in uh, in uh, Iron Man three, where it was like, oh yeah, I could see how he'd be an actor, and in this one, it was like, oh yeah, I could see how he'd use those drones as mm-hmm. like holograms. Yeah, like they made it really. And then when he went into the world of um, when he went into the world of the Mysterio, and then he got hit by the train. That yes. Onesie, that was so good. Like the way they like animated so, that, I was like, yes, this is the, sick. The the uh, the illusions that he they were putting Peter through once he was facing um, Mysterio, yeah. that was really cool to see. Yeah, uh, very good like art direction from the creative director. Yeah, uh, hmm. but I was like, I guess he he didn't really have the spidery spidey tingle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Like that was I don't know, did they explain why he didn't have that? No, they didn't really explain it. But I yeah. guess maybe he had to trust it more. Because remember he's like, no, I have this thing that I can rely on. Right, yeah. But like it, it was already in not really working well. Even like that was in right implication when, with the ant may throwing the banana thing, right? Right, yeah. Oh that true. That was already telling us that there was something wrong with it. True, true, true. I didn't even catch that. You're right. I, I like how in the first movie it was about him discovering his powers and in the second movie it was about him accepting who he is as a superhero. Yeah. You know, like, if you look at, like, one and two, like, so mm-hmm. much happened in between one and two. Right, yeah, that's, you uh, know? that's right. But, like, so much character growth. But then if you just look at, like, movie one, the movie two, you'd be like, wow, this character, like, the arc is so, such a deep arc at this mm-hmm. point, you know? So th- that's what I liked. like. Like, the, they've really made it, like, comics like a lot of times when you read these spider-man comics or any j- comics right they're related to other comics you ever right, remember noticing true, true, true. that so now it's like you got to know those other movies in order to understand what's going on because you, just, watch you just can't watch yeah you just can't watch homecoming and then watch far far oh, far away was far it? from home far from home uh you wouldn't understand what what he's going through right right you'd be like why is he so sad yeah and like um how come he can all of a sudden use 
like Tony Stark stuff. Why is he the Tony Stark of the thing? It's right. like it's leaving so many holes. Yes. Unless you watch the other ones. Yeah, you're kind of pulled into this MCU kind of thing going yeah, on. Yeah, and I think uh, that's great money books for Marvel and that's for sure. For people who like these comics, it's great entertainment. What I, I what I like is each Marvel like even though it's one studio, mm-hmm. there's like different tones per character. Yeah. You know, they really did make it like a comic because it's like, okay, if I watch this dude's movie, I'm going to get this kind of like humor and this kind mm-hmm. of like, mm-hmm. um, like pacing. Oh, sad. Um, I'm going to get this kind of pacing, right? Yeah. But like, if you watch like, like Captain America, it's not going to be the same as Spider-Man. No. And I really like that about like the Marvel movies, how they like each movie has its own different style and yeah, they made it yeah. very comic book like in that manner because you can pick up like a Spider-Man comic and you can pick up like a Iron Man comic and they're totally different they're totally different yeah but I can see uh, now how they're so the way that it ended that's why I'm gonna incre- that's what increased my score like it was 8.5 oh my god yeah that was so such a great ending so right after the mm, the first credit part when I was not expecting the name drop to happen when they when oh, he when revealed he who he oh, is dude. so that reminded me of iron man in the first one when he revealed who he was oh true so now everyone knows peter parker what happens next but then how that, does this imp- it, the, but that was crazy with like mysterio being like oh peter parker did this blah blah, blah. it's like it's going to change his entire life yeah but that's kind of like how in the cuz in that in the comic book um the what was that comic book? The Marvel, the uh, Civil War. Yeah. They Peter Parker admitted to everyone who he was. Yes. Right. But they didn't do that in this one. So I was like, okay, whatever. But then in in this one, Mysterio does it. Mysterio but he does, does it. it in a way that's like it's such trickery. Yeah. Now I'm more excited to see where it goes next. So that increased my score from 8.5 because of the shock. And, and and also the peripheral like villains at that point. Because yeah. it's like, oh, he didn't just have... Remember like he was saying like, oh, you helped me with this and you helped me with this. But I like how like when they said that, they brought back mm-hmm. the scenes. Yeah. Oh, the people, right. I was like, oh, that was pro. Well, some of them that had the scenes. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, then, but then what was crazier was like, it's like makes you think like, who are these super villains now mm-hmm. that are going to face against yeah. spider-man right you know because like it seemed like a band of people yes you know so they might just end up doing but that, there's gonna know? be more do you think they're gonna have venom i, feel uh, like it, I, I don't like, know because i feel like if they introduce venom it's gonna get really corny like how are you gonna make no Tom i Holland? i don't know i mean i never expected them to get mysterio i don't even really know mysterio's story i remember him from the 90s comics He's an I, guy. He's just hard to make. I, I don't know. I don't know. I just never... There was a lot of people that never expected to see Mysterio yeah. ever happen. And Jake Gyllenhaal's performance was epic. It was really it. good. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. Like how he was like all serious as a superhero, and you're like, oh, okay, cool. Like, yeah, he's that guy. And then all of a sudden, it switches, and it's like, oh, he's actually not like that guy. He's he's like this silly goofball trickster, you know? Right, right. He's like a right. Loki character. Yeah, you know? yeah. But he did win at the end, though. Uh that's the thing, right? Like the shift in the story. What are they to prove to show that Spider-Man was the bad guy, but not the? That's true, actually. Yeah, you're right. Right. So now, it's normally. Be, uh, now I just want to know what's going to happen next. Now, right now. Right. Yeah. Like, where does this go? Want to see like, the third one. Yes. Yeah. And like, other thing was that happened at the even further end was. The scrolls. They were just. Oh, yeah, I thought that was so cool how, like, um, Nick Fury there. Yeah. Like, he was, he was like, on his own mission. They alluded to his own mission. But then, like, it was, like, because cause you were, like, you were, like, oh, I was thinking this. I was, like, oh, Nick Fury lost his touch. Mm-hmm. You know, he's usually, like, the, the badass in this. But then, like, he got kind of, like, weak. Yeah, you know? yeah. But then all of a sudden, like, when they're, like, oh, he's actually a scroll, I'm, like, that makes more sense. Yes. I like how they alluded to all this stuff the whole time everything was there if you really paid attention yes that's very true you're like oh this is not very Nick Fury-ish no yeah yeah that was a great movie Uh, what else we got in there Um, like the I didn't feel the time I didn't feel the time how long was it anyways the run time two and a half hours really I don't know something like that (laughs) I'm assuming I don't know if it was two and a half hours but 
I did not feel like the time. Yeah, I did not feel the time either. So maybe two hours or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't feel the time. It was... Uh, I, I'm, I'm hung up on, other, like... On the other aspect, sorry, I had to bring it up because I... It, it, end of Homecoming is when Aunt May finds out that he's super Spider-Man. True. Then that was another thing that I forgot about and to see the interaction of how Aunt May would act right, now right, that right. she knows who he is. Right, right, right. It, it's interesting in this one now everyone that Peter really cares about knows who he really is. Yeah. Just as they, like shit's about to hit the fan. Yeah. You know, that was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, I really liked how the the I'm like still hung up on the love story between the two of them because <laughs> it was so realistic when I saw it I was like oh this is believable mm-hmm. you know it wasn't like a it wasn't like a oh corny or like oh they didn't like do right. one of those things where it's like oh she actually liked the Asian dude but like but then she like or you know, she or liked cause Peter more of the a, whole time you know or cause more drama. of a yeah exactly more of a drama where he's like oh he was too late kind of thing yeah exactly like that never There's happened no so drama. she never had any real interest in that. Asian, yeah, yeah they, and that guy. Liked, she liked him the whole time. Yeah, and, but like it was a very pure love story, but also like very genuine. Like when when he beat Mysterio and then she ran out and then she gave him a hug. I was like, wow, I felt that one. Mm-hmm. And then like tears were in her. I was like, this is a really good like acting portrayal right now. Right. You know what I mean? Like it, like somebody would do that. Yeah. You know, that kind of character would like definitely go like run and try and find Spider Man. But like. Peter Parker and Mary Jane always had that kind of like love mm. between them, you know. Yeah, but I just never thought it would work so well, you know. Yeah, I think that they've done especially because uh, they're kids, so it's mm-hmm. oh, they're playing kids, so it's like I was like, ah, like maybe it'll be like some like juvenile stuff. But when you watch it, you're like, no, this is very believable. Like, right, right. Very like, yeah, I don't know. It wasn't like uh, like his friend when his friend got together with that person on the plane and they're like, oh, we broke up. I was like, yeah, that seems more like that, but that was group. Right. But that was not, again, not the center point. That was just to, to add more comedy to, yeah, true, to true, the true. movie that nothing really happened between these characters now that once they've come back to New York, right? Like, it's yeah, just, totally, it, totally. It was just for like... You know? Just for that one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally, totally. To fill the void. Of right. Yeah, 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 and nothing, it doesn't continue on into the next movie or anything like that. So. Right. So that was... Yeah, that was a uh, that was an interesting aspect. Like, uh, to that's the other thing too. Like, uh, like uh, having Nick Fury in there also was he's never met him, right? True, I didn't. Yeah, 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 yeah right. And that interaction was like, like that was the whole thing of not wanting to take any kind of like I don't want to take responsibility here. I want to. Let, yeah, like yeah, totally, just totally. Wanna... it showed his like kid side. Yeah, like, but again, that's why it was like a coming of age story. It was like, yeah. in this one, he like really had to accept who he is mm-hmm. as the next Tony Stark. But what I really liked was like, he's the cooler Tony Stark, you know? Right. Like when he was like putting stuff together, and then like Happy was like. So that was oh right, right, like, right, that was right, cool. right. That's a good point to bring it up because that's what he, yeah that's what Happy saw. He saw what Tony. St- he saw a bit of Tony Stark in him, and, like and, that. And then he's like, I got the music, and then they played the first song. The first song in the first movie. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, was, I knew there was mind. something to it. I knew there was something to that they, song. That song was the opening. Right. Main so that's what I'm saying. Like, they have set Spider-Man up to be the Avenger lead. Which is so sick. Which... <laughs> Tom Holland's going to make millions, billions. Well, then now we have to also see what's, what uh, Sony has given. Sony will make a lot more money now, too. True. Because they still own the rights to Spider-Man. I really like Tom Holland as a Spider-Man. He's my favorite Spider-Man so far. Yeah, he uh, everything about him uh, fits. Because, like, think about who... Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Uh, think about who they have as Spider-Man, like, uh, Tobey Maguire. Meh. <laughs> when that first one came out, I was so stoked. But then yeah. I was like, ah. Um, Garf... What's the name? Andrew Garfield? Yeah, yeah. I was like, he was cool. The but, Amazing Spider-Man one, right? Yeah, yeah. But that was... Yeah, there's like, just so many reboots to t- Spider-Man that sure. I think this is the best. This is the best one. Yeah. Because he's very youthful and, like... He's, he's, like, very innocent and youthful, and, like, he's got this power that, like, he doesn't really know what to do with. You know, he he's fits like, the character really fit, well. The, 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 yeah. the ones that we need from, from comics. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally, yeah. totally. Yeah. And I like his, like, stature, too. He's not very tall. Yeah. He's not, like, he doesn't look like an adult in high school because he's supposed to be in high school. Right. You know? Right, um, yeah, yeah. That's why he fits it very well. Yeah, I think they, Marvel... 
whoever did the casting did it really, really well. Good I'd job. Have, I'd have to say, all right, so is, who's your favorite? I was going to say, like, I think Spider-Man's my favorite Marvel. Uh, well, Iron Man was, and now it's Spider-Man. <laughs> well, yeah, he takes the next yeah. uh, mantle, right? Uh, who for me? But I mean, if I look back at like Iron Man, well, no, no, Iron Man was sick because like I really like the genius of Tony Stark and like the creation. It felt like anybody could be that guy. Mm-hmm. But like the lighthearted Ant Man's really good too, though. Ant Man's up there. So like Spider Man and Ant Man for me are like yeah, they're kind of neck and neck. But everyone else, I'm like, ah, uh, what else? Like, does another Marvel thing beat it for you? Right now? Yeah, like. Like, what's your favorite Marvel? I don't know. I never really... Because there's Thor, you know? There's, like, the Guardians of the Galaxy. But, I mean, I like everything that the the Marvel Universe, this film, is is doing right now. Like, I seem to like it really. There were... There was a trash one, wasn't there? There were trash movies that were in the beginning as the franchise was growing, right? True, but now... But now... True, because now it's, like, different flavors. It's, like, if you're bored... Sorry, no, if you're too serious... We'll give you like a happy one like Spider Man, but then it's like too happy. Now we're gonna give you a serious one, mm-hmm. which is like um, the Falcon and um, Iron Man's two friends. Remember the Falcon and oh yes, yes. Oh oh, big thing we didn't mention um, the bait and switch on this one. We thought there was multiverses. Right. Yeah. 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 So that, that, was, that was very sick. interesting. He's like, he's that like, you came up with the most absurd. <laughs> like story and they bought it they bought it because it was so absurd. oh that was what i liked what he was saying right now what uh because of what has happened you can say whatever and they'll believe it what was he right. that, that i think that was very much uh the implication to what has happened today with the internet y- yes yes there was so easy that, that totally what totally. he said exactly fits today's time yeah wh- a lot of what mysterio oh, was yeah. presented so there's like levels to it right yeah like um like the coming of age story mm-hmm. and like, or if you just look at it on the superficial level, this is just like a nice, you know, like adventure movie. But like, if yep. you actually look at the subtleties, there were, there's a lot of like contemporary talks in this one. Like a lot of talks about our current society. Uh, yeah, exactly. You know, like Mysterio exactly. plays the internet. Mysterio plays marketing. Yeah. You know? And I really like that. It's like, how do you, and he kept alluding to, he's like, they'll believe whatever I want them to believe. Yeah, remember that? Like, oh, he's like, turn off the, turn off the, what do you call that? The uh, holograms. The holograms, yeah. And then he's like, are you sure? And he's like, they'll believe whatever I want them to believe. Mm. And then like how he's like, make sure you have my cape ready because I could literally be shaking hands with the queen <laughs> in the next hour. And it's like, yeah, because you orchestrated this entire like delusion that we're gonna buy into. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was. Oh, that was. So oh, that. Yeah. And, and I really liked uh, the juxtaposition of. Uh, Mary Jane's character, how she's like, um, <laughs> I, I, I like saying the truth even though it hurts. And I was like, damn, that's like me, bro. Like, we're on the same page on this one. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, you had like Mary Jane's character, which is like so severely honest. And then you have like Mysterio's character, which is like, I'm painting and lies. Right. But right. I did both, though. So it's like kind of weird. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's probably why I really like the movie because I saw like the levels to it. I'm like, oh, this is what. This is what you're trying to really say in this movie. I mean, even what she was saying, too, is like, do you believe everything on, that you hear on the internet? Something like that? Like there there we go again, scene. yeah. So exactly. there are all yeah. these things over and Yeah, it was all about truth. It's all yeah. about reality. That's yeah. what the whole movie is about. It's like, yeah. what do you believe as fiction and nonfiction? Yeah. True. That was, that was what was said from, yeah, through both. These are the little hints that they give oh, you. That's what the Mysterio movie is about. That's what the that's Mysterio what is. Yeah. Ah, and she was like the one trying to harp on, not harp on it. But and like, even within the name, too, right? <laughs> Of Mysterio. Oh, it, it, even when Mysterio first got named, the guy's like, oh, they're calling him Mysterio. And she's like, no, Mysterio means man of mystery. They don't know who he is. Yeah. So you see what I'm saying? It's so like these little, little, little hints. It's, like, yes, it's yes. like, look how you took this one thing and you exploded it. Yeah. It's sort of like ancient texts too, right? It's, yeah. like, it's like, oh, these like enlightenment states, you know? And then like um, you find out it's like, it's not what you thought it was. Mm-hmm. And that's what she was saying too. It's like, no... Mysterio means man of mystery, but you took it to a whole thing called, like saying that this person's being called Mysterio because it's a lack of knowledge and education. Yeah. 
which is actually kind of funny because I have this exact talk with my sister like about like we were like talking about what enlightenment is and I was mm-hmm. like well it's like it depends on what enlightenment you mean and she's like what do you mean about that I'm like you realizing something is enlightenment so we get enlightenment we get enlightened to things all the time yeah, yeah. you know what I mean but yeah. that's probably what they meant you know an enlightened being just has realized a lot about life mm-hmm. you know like I don't think there's this enlightened state because it's like well what's the one state because like I always say to people when they're like oh like I ask them what is enlightenment mm-hmm. and then they'll tell me and then I'm like but if you already know it, so then aren't you enlightened? Right. Right, because you already know it. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. you know, why? what are you searching for? Because you have the answer. Yeah. You know, but then it's like, because... So this is, really... this is yeah, this is what I like. This is what makes a good movie, where there are hints throughout leading to the actual revelation of what's actually happening in the, it's true. In the movie. And that's what, that's what makes, I feel like, that's what I like about a movie, because then you can nitpick on these things and really expand upon what they're really trying to say. Right. Yeah, it's true. It's true. That they, they've been telling you this the whole time. It's true. And that's when that's you... That's probably how they get the high high level actors because it's like, why would Jake Gyllenhaal do this? Right. Yeah. He probably read the role and he's like, no, I get what you guys are doing. Yeah. Like, I want to be a part of this. Right. Whereas like, you know, like, if, like, I really don't think Jake Gyllenhaal, like the type of actor Jake Gyllenhaal is and like the mm-hmm. roles that he plays, it's like he wouldn't just take something for a paycheck. He probably saw what we're saying right now, and he's yeah. like, "Oh, I get the levels." Right. Yeah. Like it's it's more of an in depth story this way, right? Than a simple. You know, it's really interesting how when we were kids, we watched all these like Disney movies that like made us think outside the box, and it's like mm-hmm. you're actually starting to see this resurgence now with this Marvel thing because we're deconstructing it as adults now. But it's like as children, they're being programmed with these like things in their head. Like <laughs> oh, that's why we like Spider Man. It's like, oh, like be polite, be kind, right. be courteous. Yeah. You know, stand up for your friends. Like all right. these like good traits that are being passed on to children now yeah you know whereas like um dc with their shazam movie Mm -hmm. and i was like oh my god this is trash because you're like portraying children as like spoiled brats and then they're gonna learn from this remember how much i hated that movie (laughs) yeah yeah, it's the message but like i really like spider-man because like the message they're portraying is like be a good human being Mm -hmm. and that's what spider-man right you know yeah levels yeah yeah i think the uh, overall i think this was this was great uh, I just want to know where this goes next, I am and when is the like what what are the next movies that will have an impact on Spider Man's life True. going forward? Until yeah. we get to the third one, it'll be super exciting. <laughs> uh, so you want to rescore it? Yeah. So with the with that ending, with the name drop, which I was not <laughs> expecting at all, uh-huh. and the way he, like, I love the camera shot onto him and. When and then the way they ended it? The like, way they ended what? it. What? So they cut it? <laughs> so I got to get... <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, pause. I saw that meme where it's like, um, uh, it's like, it's 2019. Like, it's like a person who's shocked, and it's like, when it's 2019, you still see people walking out of an MCU movie before the credits are over. Right, yeah. You know, yeah. and I was like, oh, that's <laughs> funny, bro. That's funny. Because, like, if you had walked out before you saw this scene, oh, yeah. man, bro, right. you missed a good one. Yes, yes, that's very true, yeah. So your score? Ah, uh, man, it jumps to a 9 to Ooh. 9.5. Like, that Ooh. got me. That got me. All right, and after this conversation... Oh, yeah, go that got me because of, you know, like, that was... The, I, I thought this is... Now, he is the position for Iron Man. That's what that is. That's what that was. True, because now everybody knows who he is. The next movie, you have to rectify your truth. Yeah. Or maybe you get it rectified through peripheral movies, and then the third Spider-Man movie, we don't have to worry about this. Which would be nice. That would be nice. Um, that would actually be nice because, like, yeah, why wouldn't somebody just, like, why wouldn't the Avengers just stick up for him? Like, no, Mysterio is actually fooling all of you. He's drunk. Right, but everyone like, knows that, that Spider-Man didn't do that. Everyone knows, right? Like, within the the small group that he was in. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah. So. I hope, because I, I hate it when they do that. Like, then everyone hates him now. And Oh, I like how they use the same J. Jonah Jameson actor. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's cool. And I like He's how they made <laughs> they made Daily Bugle more of like an online talk show. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Alex Jones style. Yeah, a little bit more like that. I was that, like, oh, yes. that's interesting. <laughs> Very contemporary. Yeah. Because who reads newspapers? Right. So it's like the fact that they did it as like an online show is like, like even, that makes a lot of sense. Even, even with, the, with the, the, the students, the kids with their live, the, the, the live streaming. <laughs> oh, yeah. True, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. True. So that, that was kind of funny. It's very contemporary. I liked it. Yeah. 
Uh, so after this talk, I'm going to have to give it a 10. It was, <laughs> yes, because of the, 11. The, the little hints that we, we got. I didn't even think about that till we talked about it. Yeah, I know. I was like, oh. Right. So like, that's why it's like that. And then the reveal, I, it's like a 9.5 for me, man. This All right, 9.5. Is... I'm going to give it an 11. Okay, it 11. Okay. We're going to surpass 10, which gives this a final score of 10. Uh, 0.25? Something above, yeah. Above 10. Yeah. So this is a definite must watch. Yes. Do you remember um, Spider-Man 1, what you gave it? It'd be interesting if we gave both movies like a must watch. I don't remember. I don't remember our scores for Homecoming. Yeah. Nope. Did we even do one for Homecoming? We must have. I don't know. Did it come out before we did the podcast? Maybe. I don't even know. I All right. Remember. Well, if you, if you go back and listen to it, maybe you'll find out our score. But the first, the two Spider-Man movies are definite must watch. Yeah. I think this was a good move on Sony's to, you know, to give it to Marvel to make yeah. these right stories for us. Did you like the Venom movie? No. Standalone Venom movie? Yeah, I didn't really either. No. Not, uh, but they, it did, it was successful, so they would probably be making more, and hopefully other ones are better. I wonder if Venom will play a role, like, way down the line for Spider-Man, because I feel like that's, like, a final villain kind of thing. Like, you can't just, like, make the first villain of Spider-Man be Venom. Hmm... Or maybe, maybe like... I don't know, but I really... While he was in space. I mean, there's been a lot of Spider-Mans recently. Into the Spider-Verse. Oh, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Right? That. There's Venom. There's So now there's so many iterations, iterations in yeah. this world of Spider-Man. So. Uh, where it goes next? Uh, Do you like Into the Spider-Verse? Yes. I like this one better, though. Uh... Uh, of course, this is better yeah. in the sense, but Into the Spider Verse was really good. Now, I don't know where Marvel will go. What can they do? I really want to. S I don't know. Like, it's got to be a good story. You're, that's the thing. That's what really True. matters is when you have the right story. That's when you should make it. True. All right. So, um, final thoughts. Definitely go watch this movie. Yeah. This is a good one. A lot of levels to this one. Mm hmm. Yeah. A lot of levels to a lot of movies, too, actually, if you're just like looking for it. Like the King Arthur one that I loved, but you yeah. didn't, you didn't weren't a big fan of it. Yeah, because it didn't. Yeah, it didn't. Uh, There's so many connotations. Yeah. For me, I was like, wow, this is a good movie. Right. But right. Yeah. Plus, yeah. I love Guy Ritchie. <laughs> Minus that Latin movie, right. but it's like he didn't even direct that one. So, anyways, yeah, Spider Man, dope, best Spider Man. Yeah. Actor of all time. Okay. Yeah. Best Spider Man movie of all time. Mm-hmm. Best on-screen portrayal of Spider-Man and Mary Jane <laughs> of all time. Right. I'm surprised there's no Felicia Hardy. You know the triangle? Yeah. Black, black hat? Yeah, yeah right. right. That would be kind of interesting later on. It depends on the story. I think what they're really focusing on is story right now. And uh, if it fits, it fits. It yeah, doesn't, it doesn't. doesn't. All right. Till next time. Um, what we got? Anything next week? Movie-wise? Yeah. I don't know. No, uh, nothing next week. Um, Lion King comes out the week after, though. 16th, right? 7th, 19th? Oh, 19th, I think, yeah. yeah. All right, well, yeah. You'll get something next week, so. There's been a lot of, there's going to be a lot of movies, sorry. Like, Quentin Tarantino, the Lion yeah. King, so. Uh, we got the Fast and Furious, so a lot of movie. I mean, with the Lion King, you know, and, and Spider-Man, this, this month will be Marvel's again. I mean, Disney's. Disney's again, yeah, true. Um. Yeah, so expect a lot of movie reviews for the summer. Yeah. Till next time, go watch Spider-Man. Yes. Take it easy. Peace. Bye. Bye.